Hey guys, it's Paris. So, I'm back with another video on my YouTube channel. Today is I'm going to also draw something. So, I'm going to I draw dinosaurs, but I never draw Ghidorah the three-headed dragon. So, let's try out that and see how that goes. So, let's zoom in. So, let's start with the head first. For the head, we all know King Ghidorah has three heads. So, I'm going to draw one head here. It's a curvy line that goes like a dinosaur's eye. Then it goes a little down. And the difference between dinosaur's head and dragon's head is that a dragon is more slightly thinner than a dinosaur. And for King Ghidorah, with real animals, they're just viper three-headed snakes with wings and a giant guy. So, there's one head. Just we slide it like that. Don't bring it to the edge too much. And slightly go down. Then, we put... We're not going to put just that part of it. We're not going to put the whole body. So, then we're going to put King Ghidorah's spiky teeth. They are really sharp and spiky. We're not going to fully fill the mouth with teeth. We're going to make some empty space. And from the down edge, I'm going to give another side of the mouth and then we just fill it up with loads and loads of sharp and sharpy teeth if you practice you can be better than me and there we go you have the first mouth ready but this isn't the design of king Ghidorah. we still have some horns on their edge like one horn and maybe another horn and another one and then we have other horns here and we just show a little horn there for the age there and now let's draw the eye if you you can make it even horrifier you can make it horrifier but I'm just going to show you the simple design of the eye we just put a curvy line and some dots and a tiny dot there no no that's not the eye a tiny simple dot with the eye and then we just cover the tiny dot with a circle and this is not going to figure in right now, but when you color it, it looks really cool. Now, we just put some of this here. There we go. This is just the first head. Oh, and the most important part of King Ghidorah and the most stylish and 3D one is its viper snake-like tongue that goes all the way down and we just draw a little snake like white figure that goes down like this and now we draw the first head means the middle head of king Ghidorah and we just curve it down like that and another curvy line coming in and it should get thinner in the bottom but fatter in the edge. So let's put another mouth. There we go. And of course, don't forget the spikes. And another spike here. The reason why I'm doing this one first 
is because this one was curvy so this one I have to do it later but for this one it's not that curvy head so I can do that now and if I do that now it will be better for me for later and then we just simply draw a curvy curvy mouth you can make it even curvier just remember don't make it like this and then we just draw another half curvy line we're gonna be a little hook in the last bottom let me show you guys better this hook this tiny hook and this hook will be the bottom hook that will of course will be connected with the spikes and then we will draw the other jaw just like this one we'll put the extra meat in there extra flesh not flesh actually um guys what do you call a dragon flesh hmm i wonder dragon meat um dragon food uh, i don't know what should he call dragon meat so cover that up with some spiky teeth and of course the beautiful white shaped tongue and this one's a little smaller and if you want to make it big you have to use a thinner pen and then we just Treat it up by adding some extra spikes there, some extra lines that will make it 3 dier and cooler, and then the same dot that covers the eye and the round. Now, to make it even 3 dier, we add an extra line to in different the tummy the tummy scale this next scale that i will border very 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 easily there we go okay nice good as new and we also have to border this the reason what didn't i do that is because I didn't want to do that first or you can do that first but it's easier to draw it later after it still I did it early I have to do it even later but no worries I can do that I can stay with that then we draw the third head of King Ghidorah that is like facing a curved line and then facing to here and then of course the line and then it's kind of far away so and it's facing kind of back so i'm gonna show you how to face a dragon back way just do this and then sharp the other side very carefully and then we just draw it like a simple dragon, but then with the mouth, we just curve it in like that. And the pearl, don't forget the stomach. This is also an easy stomach one, so I could just easily stem that up. I know I could do that there, but he's not upside down. And we draw um, teeth, some sharp special nice teeth that will be followed by our eye it's kind of cool looking when you have that part and of course one thing i always forgot about king Gidor is his tiny nose drops and then we do is draw the body of course 
King Ghidorah has huge wings. Huge means the really huge wings. A wing big enough to carry two Godzilla at the same time. Okay, we just put that there, 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 and put that there, and some curly curly lines because it's flesh, it's not perfect. Then we add just another perfection with the natural perfection, and we just draw another line there. We draw this part like this and voila we just do that and ta -da! we put some extra nails and ta -da! one wing is complete oh and don't forget about the extra finger on this side we should do the same with the other side. Draw a comfy little wing. And there's another head, so we can't fully put that there. There's another head, that's why it has to be a little thick in that place. Not thick, actually thinner in that place. There we go. We have good old fashioned wings. And another one. There we go. And now we just put those things together like that. Put some extra feet there. Really extra feet. Really giant extra feet. For ordinary dragons, it has, a, you know, four legs. But it has three legs, two tails, and two legs. And no arms. And of course, for a dragon, they of course have their beautiful wings. Winky. We covered that up by following a tiny tail. In real life, it's big, but the tail is actually far away from its body. So, I'm making it small. And... To make this thing even better, of course I'm adding another tail, but I'm going to show you how to make this thing even look cooler. Just a sec, here. There we go, guys. We have two tails completely ready. So, now, to make this thing look even, even, even cooler, we could add extra spikes on the neck and the space that is gone left up so yeah guys to make it even look cooler you can add extra spikes with magic and if you don't have magic you could use your hands and then another thing you can possibly do is add a nose blade there that the bone has a little gap, dinosaur bones have a little gap on the front here and the skin and muscles just go down like that. For us humans we have this small tiny bone in our nozzles that is really 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 small. So for them it is also small but for us it is big because they're dinosaurs, dude. They're huge. Their nose plate is the size of two humans. 
of Ghidorah. So now for even it's cooler you can add some wing cuts and also wing blast and wing holes that actually proves that it f has fighted with Godzilla and lose and then got a lot of cuts in its body like can do this some cuts there so yeah we have finished our king Ghidorah. so let's try coloring it no 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 of course i'm not going to color it for one hour i'm going to color it with magic for magic we need ordinary red pink pens these kind of pens color pens and we just one two three and voila your king Ghidorah is perfectly colored so yeah guys thanks for watching and wasting your time because it's just 16 minutes and stay home stay safe in this pandemic of coronavirus bye bye